Hey everybody, Super Dave in here again. I got a little kind of like a little short sermon for you. Ecclesiastes 9 to 11, chapter 9, verse 11. I'm going to tell you, talk to you about conditioning for the race. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. It's verse 11 of Ecclesiastes chapter 9. I return and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and chance happen to them all. Now I'm going to tell you something. The race is not always to the strongest or the best or the most conditioned person because that person can fail in the race. That person can fall short before the finish line, even if they're in the best conditioning ever in the battle, if they don't strengthen themselves and practice and, and, and spar each other and work on their weapons and their, and their, and their, and their battle skills, they won't win the battle and they may not win anyways, even if they have the best conditioning and battle skills of them all. But I just want you to know, um, that no matter what, um, God is in control and He's sovereign. So ultimately, whoever God chooses to win, wins. That's why I don't like, <laughs> that's like when I'm watching the Kansas City Chiefs football game, I'm like, God, who's going to win? And I pray for the team and everything. And I don't know if they're going to win or not. And it's like, it's really up to God, I guess. But <laughs> but um, hopefully they win the Super Bowl game. But anyways, um, I want you to know the conditioning for the Lord and exercise, godly exercise and conditioning for the Lord, like reading your Bible, praying, seeing the Lord relationship, repenting of sin. That will ultimately get you to the finish line in heaven. You will ultimately win that championship, that race, that battle for your for your uh, for for your uh, eternal life. If you keep pressing on, endure until the end. This is for somebody. I want you to know that you can condition, train all you want. And if you do it for God and the spiritual things, you eventually reap a harvest. You eventually reap eternal life, and the retirement is really good when you get to heaven. Believe God in Jesus too, and I hope this helped you. God bless. Bye bye.